Yo. Okay. I don't know how to start this off, but um, okay. I look like shit. Sorry. <laughs> holidays or whatsoever so yeah I'm currently checked in now I'm having a good time alone actually I have no one else here with me because that was the goal I wanted to have a space a spot an area where I can just be myself concentrate on work concentrate on my well-being concentrate on the things that I really want to do and maybe reflect a little something about my plans for the rest of the year and for next year and it's a lot to take, it's a lot to think about and there's just a lot of work going on in general there's really a lot of things going on right now in the world and that's just seem crazy and it's really affecting me too much like um, aside from the pandemic it's given probably my life in general but first of all how are you i hope you're doing good i hope you're doing fine so i'm in my comfy oversized shirt i'm on my laptop and michael scofield it's a rig Who's a fan of that? Because I really am. Um, so let's start this with a room tour. It's not so much to see. I got this space. Wait, I'm kind of distracted. Because what I booked for is a studio type. And my only requirement for myself that, like the service that I really would prefer or I would want to pay for is a stable Wi-Fi and a kitchen. And that's it. <laughs> But the most important thing is Wi-Fi because I just plan to stay here like the whole day. I'm going to work here since my work, my business, everything is digital. So yeah, so here's the door with entrance right there. They have this clothes rack and a shoe rack. So this is what the comfort room looks like. It's neat. Um, shower curtains, they've got a shower I like to think they have a hot shower installed there, a heater they have shampoo, I don't know if it's from the previous guests or they already have that for whoever queen size, king size, basta, it's massive you can fit two or three people and plus if you have other guests you can actually have one sleep here so it's a maximum of three guests well, they have the house rules posted it's standard I guess they have the fridge and all my food in it they have lots of water bottles for me to consume and the rest I bought them with me I brought them with me when I came here they have complete um, utensils 
plates, rice cooker. The only thing that I saw here was this. They have a complimentary tea. This one's mine and everything here, of course, I have to bring my own coffee. <laughs> this is Vietnamese coffee. The cr creamer and the sugar and I also bought my, my French press was broken. So I have this Vietnamese uh, fin coffee filter. That would do anyway. I just needed the brewed coffee. They have uh, TV and Wi-Fi, the New American Bible, yes. And one chair right over there. And this view, yeah, awesome, nice. Also, they have a large mirror here. I am sorry for my outfit. <laughs> I'm just feeling home right now and it's just, I feel good being myself, being alone, and yeah. Also, I chose this um, condo. Well, I'm not gonna say where this is for some reasons. I chose this tower because I have a friend who's also residing here. And by any chance that I would want to go to swim at the pool, at least I have someone to like go swim, have a night swim, enjoy, and she can sleep here also. But I don't know, I'm, it depends on my mood, but my priority is myself. My priority is my work. I have to get shit done. There's just a lot of things going on and just a lot of things on my plate right now. But so far, so good. Also, if your question is, is it safe or do they observe um, social distancing and other safety measures? Yes. Before you can actually step into this unit or step into this building, you are required to log in a health declaration form. And aside from that, you, if you're checking in, like really sleep here, not visit, um, you are required to submit a barangay, barangay, your barangay certificate that states that you are not a PUI or PUM, person under monitoring or investigation. And or aside from that, you can also submit a medical certificate that states that you are healthy and fit. That's all good. So I was kind of stressed about it because I have already booked this place like days ago, like three days ago. And then... I wasn't sure about the requirements and I thought securing my barangay certificate would just take one day since I thought it was easier because my my mom knew the capitan and the barangay captain and I thought that he's available and it's going to be processed on that day so I went there to the to the barangay hall and he wasn't available the secretary isn't even there but there was someone there who took my details and said that they're gonna call me if it's ready and no one called so on the day that I have to check in the, I could, still could not secure my barangay certificate so I have the other option which is to have myself checked uh, with a doctor who's my friend and he issued me a medical certificate because you know I'm, I'm not exposed I've been working the whole time I'm just at my house I've never been sick I never had fever cough or colds or flu and I wasn't in contact with any positive uh, person of COVID-19 so I'm all good I'm really good I'm just stressed and I needed a really serious break <laughs> like this 2020 I had shit planned I had whole things done I'm a person who plans a lot I'm a person who wants things organized especially when it comes to schedules and trips after I resigned from my job last year I told myself that this is it I'm gonna save up I wanted to be a digital nomad I wanted to go places have my coffee and you know bring my work everywhere with me and that's totally fine because that's the life I have dreamed about like going to the beach and then you just work go back to your hotel and work as long as there's Wi-Fi you're good to work so that was the ultimate dream and then COVID happened I'm supposed to go to Bangkok Thailand 
last May for five days. I'm supposed to go to Baguio on June for four days to fly to Manila. And I'm supposed to go to Brunei for four days. And also Cebu was on the list. And everything was booked. I swear my hotels, my tickets. So it wasn't really, you know, I felt it's so frustrating that I planned for that since last year. Like my whole year, my whole 2020 was planned and it did not happen. But again, safety first. We can't do anything about it. Everyone's also having their frustrations and struggles because, you know, I'm now a business owner and I do understand the losses. I understand the financial struggles. Even me, I had to, to uh, have my travel agency stop operating because I don't want to have problems for booking flights because the airlines are unstable. The only good thing, I guess, that happened to me is because I didn't stop exploring other op op opportunities to earn. I learned a lot, I swear. So my Pinoy Eagle Travel Agency, I had zero income. There's nothing I can do about it because even if I keep booking flights for like the LSI or some friends who needs to go home and then it gets canceled, the agencies are having a hard time coordinating with the refunds, with a, with a, um, what do you call this, rebooking, and I didn't want to have that problem because there's, I'm already stressed about it, and you know, it has a cost. It comes with a cost, and sometimes, you know, they don't really pay for that service because all they know is rebookings are free, there's a lot to consider, so I stopped operating, and I built my own. Um, digital marketing agency which I had registered BPI and BIR it's legally operating but it's registered as an online business it's I don't have that office for that but yeah I, I still work in my tra travel agency office everything I, I, I do is just right there and this online business I had clients from Manila I have clients here in Iloilo what I basically do is start up a brand for them, for people who does, for people who don't know where to start uh, when they want to venture their business online and they don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna, I, I, I uh, they go to me to consult for like digital services, how I can help them promote, what brands or can they, can they, can I provide them with logo? So services such as that like logo graphic arts content creation video production audio services and website so i work with a team i cannot do this alone because there are some skills that i do not have that i have to outsource so i have a business partner that is residing in laguna and i'm here in loilo and i have a content creator in manila so everything is remote you know, um, I have adjusted to this kind of lifestyle and ever since I was really a freelancer, so I wasn't new to this kind of industry, the freelancing industry because I have services before like creating videos, visuals, like a three minute video promotion. And it's something I really love because it's so therapeutic to edit. <laughs> I don't know. For some people, like you do vlogs like this and then you edit, you're so concentrated and so focused on that. The music, the timing, the effects. I kind of love stressing myself out with that kind of project. It, 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 I like that it fuels my creativity and the focused, the, the thing that, the fact that you're so focused on that, that you don't have any time to be distracted because again you're so focused on that I like that it's very therapeutic and aside from my digital marketing services um, I work as a virtual assistant so a friend got me to help her with her foreign clients because she had lots of like work and she could not get things done anymore and she decided to hire me or like get me to help her because I also kind of have the same skills with her except that she has upskilled like website designing and stuff SEO but for me when it comes to graphics and contents 
I can do that. So it the, the, the those clients ask for services like that. So it fits my skills and I believe I have helped her in that part and it's also a win-win for me because I'm earning. It's a per hour. So just imagine that all my jobs are online like digital marketing agency they just we you know you just email and talk and communicate what you want and i'll send to you email so you show the brand starter pack up uh, the brand pack the logo the design everything is digital also the virtual assistant thing which is um just coordination and sending of outputs so i am you know there's no personal meeting required so it's really like a, a good work for this season of pandemic. It helped me a lot to survive. It helped me pay bills. It helped me afford this, <laughs> this three days and two nights stay. And I guess I deserve that because it's been a lot to take. It was a lot of, of mental breakdowns, to be honest. And this is where I learned how to drink alone in my room. Like I, I really had to because I couldn't sleep anymore because there's a lot of things on my mind. Plus I broke up with my boyfriend last year. <laughs> but that's not a big deal. I'm really happy for him. So if you're asking me if I'm single, yes, I'm single. But am I looking for someone? No. Am I waiting for someone? No. I'm just concentrating on my career or me being a businesswoman entrepreneur and planning my life for the next five years so if there's love in between I don't know <laughs> so we're done swimming uh, I went to 7-eleven with Dawn and we bought something some food and she's back to her unit in this portion of the vlog I'm going to eat something I have because I have a cake with me while answering your questions and I posted on my Instagram story as well as on Facebook uh, a question like ask me anything and I'm gonna include it in my vlog and there were some people who participated and I'm happy to answer them this is going to be quick since I don't want to vlog it too long I have a question from AJ15 Jazz hello um, this girl I met like 10 years ago, she has been so supportive of my music, my my live performances, kahit saan talaga may show, alam mo yung hanggat kaya niya pumunta, pupunta siya, kahit na umabot pang Corona dal, but something just happened why she couldn't make it when I had my concert in Mindanao like 10 years ago. But this girl, really, I appreciate your effort lagi. And you know, we sometimes message each other about random stuff, depre depression, and lots of other topics, random topics, and I really appreciate you. You know, you're not just a supporter to me, but you're also a friend, kahit virtual lang. And so her question is, been noticing your posts about having your own space. Have you moved or staycation? Girl, I wish I have a unit like this. I hope this is mine <laughs> to keep, but no, this is only a staycation. I was kind of stressed the last three weeks processing papers, permits, the clients, and nagahabol talaga ng benta. So yon, and I decided to have a staycation in a condo. Um, this has been my thing to to book on Booking.com or Airbnb because I like to have a change of an environment like for no particular reason Gusto ko talaga. so I decided to have my alone time because I have lots of I have lots of things on my mind and it's been three days and this this unit has been booked for three days and two nights and I have been enjoying my own company but I have been looking forward also in the future na sana magkaroon ako ng bahay and if ever that time will come i wanted a like a townhouse or maybe like a studio type na bahay na mura lang na kayang pang ako lang alam mo yung na na single forever ano ba hindi naman but i wanted to have an investment of my own and that's that's on my bucket list talaga 
I I would canvas um, some available houses dyan sa mga lumina or sa deka just so I would have the big picture kung magkano yung kailangan kong kitain so I could reach that goal because I really do have plans it's been my my ultimate dream to have my own space I have a question from Shenray. This girl talaga is the bomb. <laughs> she is so pretty, so sexy, and she keeps on um, liking my Instagram posts <laughs> and participates on my Q&A for Sean. And this girl has been admiring me for my songs. Thank you so much. You know, I really appreciate people who would um, who would message me to tell how they are touched with my songs or probably how they love those songs so much. <laughs> Thank you. appreciate You know, you can approach me anytime. And if at that moment I'm not busy, you know I'm always going to reply. Her question is, what do you feel when you hear your songs in every basketball court during fiestas? Girl, <laughs> fiestas, uh, ano nga to, sa, sa jeep, sa mall, sa radio station, priceless. I'm so happy, so overwhelmed. Up until now, naman talaga, parang, it's so, it's so surreal na those are my lyrics, my songs, my beats. And I'm just so happy na kung saan saan siya nakarating. Meaning, meron talagang nakikinig when I request. Ano, nakakataba talaga ng puso. And that, that motivates me so much. And, alam mo yun, um, my music career, even back, way back 10 years ago, it wasn't planned out. It wasn't something serious na, you know, I'm gonna write his songs, I'm gonna release this, I'm gonna have a producer for this, and distribute on this, blah, blah, blah. Wala akong ganung effect. It's just a friend told me, give your songs to me, I'm gonna play on the radio, dun na nagsimula ang lahat. And I'm so thankful about it because there's a purpose why bakit naging ganun ang direksyon ng mga songs ko. As one of the, one of the Ilongas na nag-contribute sa Ilongo pop industry. Let's just put it that way. And I'm just so happy and honored that he still support it until up until now. And you know, and sa mga fiestas, nakakatuwa lang. Kasi minsan nare-remix. Alam yung tawag-tawa ako talaga. Kasi minsan hindi pa tugma yung beat. <laughs> Ayun. May, there was a time that my song, Downtown, in Iloilo, it was playing on a sound system. And nakalatag yung mga pirated CDs. And then, I, tinanong ko si ate na, uh, Miss, meron ko yung song sa Angel Kim. Because my song was time, very timely na yun yung nag- nag uh, play sa sound system. And then nilatag niya, Angel Kim na pirated CD. Hindi niya alam ako si Angel Kim. Nagka saan niyo pa pinagkuko yung mga songs na to? Kasi anong bet ko talaga yung mga songs ni Angel Kim? Naman mga download ma, meron kaming source. Hindi ko alam kung paano kong mag-react. Matatawa ako o seryosoyin ko ba to? Kasuhan o what? Pero hindi kasi talaga ako serious ng ganang moment eh. But I really do understand the legalities of songs and I had uh, uh, I had the whole album actually na copyrighted doon sa or may copy doon si Nugnit sa National Library. I'm a member of Philscap and I register all my original songs. And for kumbalaan mo lang, just so you know, I paid for the mechanical license of that beat. So I have every right, I have the rights actually to use the beat, but my lyrics, the Ilongo lyrics, is really mine. That's all me. So yun, <laughs> yun, si ate, wala siyang kalam alam na ako yun. Wala, natawa ko nung ganung moment. So, mga, ano so yeah. I feel happy. It's a priceless moment for me. Thank you, Shenrei. Okay, moving on to the next question. I have here on Facebook, Krisha. Ito si Krisha talaga. I met from a mutual friend, my best friend in Manila. And she gave birth to a son. Last year ba yun? Nag one year old na. I hope, I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys are happy and doing well. And her question is, Anong na-feel mo nung halos kaka-open lang ng business mo than pandemic strike? Pandemic strikes. Girl! <laughs> Siyempre, naloka ako. Parang, alam mo yun? 
Para nag sync in ah. Shit. One month pa lang yung office ko. Although four months na yun, technically, na available na sa Pinoy Eagle online. But the whole ticketing outlet talaga, yung mismong office, one month pa lang yun, just nag-lockdown. Alam mo, my preparation was something serious because it was my first business. I was on the peak eh. Alam mo, I know that I was doing well, that I was on the right track. I had more than 100 passengers for tours and for flights. And that's not bad at all. And nasa point na ako na hindi na ako yung naghahanap ng clients. Yung kusang sila yung magsasabi na may flight bang ganito, ganyan. Like, my service was already in demand and people are messaging me na to avail of that tour or what. Tapos magsasummer pa, hindi eh, ba March nag-lockdown? Eh, magsasummer pa ng April, May. So people were starting to book Manila to Boracay, Iloilo to Cebu, Iloilo to Palawan, Manila to Palawan. Summertime! Girl! Na dapat sana andun lahat ng income, andun lahat ng eksena. Tapos nawala. <laughs> Ayun, and talking about the finances, syempre kung nagsisimula ka pa lang, and then you need to keep the money rolling. Kasi syempre may mga times na niloan ko yun, pinaikot ko yung pera, ganun. And I have existing, uh, I have running bills. So, stop talaga yung income ko. Parang stop din yung mundo ko. Alam mo, hindi ako makapag-isip kung ano na. But I found, thankfully, awa ng Diyos, I found another ways. I worked around and I established another money-making tool which was the Connectix Digital Marketing Services. And I own that digital uh, marketing na services na, you know, as I mentioned earlier, if you need layouts and stuff. And I have clients from Manila who will build that. So, meron ako mga monthly na set na because they need me. And um, meron din dito accounting firm and there are some walk-ins or some friends and like my message. So, I was busy about all of that because that includes content creation, brand brand pack brand branding in general so that's that's kind of an a service that is that you have to put so much effort and you know the concept and the technicalities and the the creation the conceptualizing is very much to me exciting but at the same time it's draining <laughs> But the business is online. There's no capital because it's a service base. Like people pay me for the things that I can actually do. So it's really a skill. And I was really thankful to the universe na nagka income ako kahit papano. So tinry ko ayusin yung income flow and you know list down all my expenses and my existing loans and stuff. I'll be transparent about that. I have to like truthfully talk na I was also financially struggling like everyone else. At the end of the day, who was ever stable? Diba? Kahit even ako, nung nagtatrabaho, lagi kulang eh. Lagi, alam mo yung hindi sapat. O kung sakto lang, wala ka talagang naitatabi madalas. Kasi ganun talaga eh. No one's ever stable. And ako, I would, what I really learned is that you can't, don't have just one source of income. If kaya mo talaga maghanap ng ibang racket, go ahead. So, yun, explain ko naman na kanina kung ano pa yung mga income kung income generating business talaga this time of pandemic. But about how I feel devastated, frustrated, exhausted, and stressed in all aspects. That's it. And you know, as a businesswoman, wala, wala na ko masabi. Yun na yung lahat. Sorry if I talk too much. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. Sorry, moving on. Prince and Jay, this guy would also be active on liking my stories and uh, trying to keep in touch. And thank you, I appreciate that. Bakit po ang hilig mo sa kape? Bakit po hindi? <laughs> well, it all started when I was stressed, when I was working in Manila, when I was employed. Kasi I worked for like 16 hours straight. Girl, mag duty ka din ng 8 to 5. Then from 6 to 10, meron ka pang night shift. So may day shift ka. May night shift ka pa. Kasi I was on call for training. And minsan di ko alam kung kailan ako kailangan. So grab yung stress ko. Tapos alam mo yung, yung, yung training dahil halimbawa, limang oras kita kasala. Tapos kulang ako sa tulog. Tatlong oras na yung tulog ko kagabi. Tapos sasala ako ng limang oras. Eh, wala na solution, girl. Talagang kape. Kape na lang talagang makakapagsalita sa'yo dyan sa harap. <laughs> and as you've noticed, you know, if you have seen me 
speak in front or public speaking. Or if you've seen me like talk in a seminar, if you have attended one, you know, I really talk too much. Like my enthusiasm and confidence is all over the room. I have lots of that. I swear. That's not a problem to me. Kasi para matagal ko na siyang na-practice eh. I was kind of exposed when I was still a kid. Like the singing, it contributed so much to my confidence and enthusiasm. And that takes up so much social energy. Subscribe pa lang natin. Sige, pagkabalik ko, another ching! No? Dito ako ulit, ninom ko. Sabi niya, eh, okay lang pakirep mo. Okay lang. Isa lang ka na bumalik. <laughs> so, nagpahayon na akong saglibo para lang sabihin. Okay lang. Kaya <laughs> libo na yun, di ba? Grabe talaga, as ko wala kang pera, itulog mo na lang ang feelings mo. Yun na lang, ang libre, ang matulog at tabi eh. Eh, sino ba dito ang nakaranas na hindi umutang sa buong buhay na? Nasa ka ba? Sabay sa, sabay sabay tayo. Yes! Welcome to the club! <laughs> umutang! Kahit may bad experience na! Energy. Eh, tsaka ako talaga, minsan exage talaga eh. Just so people won't sleep on me. And you know, you have to get things entertained. You have to talk and your tone of voice and your choice of words sometimes matter. <laughs> Grabe yung pag-iisip. So, wala nang ibang gasolina kundi kape. Hanggang sa, hindi naman addict. Kasi once a day lang talaga ako nagkakape. But I make sure that moment is really sacred. You know, hindi mo ko madisturbo. Hindi mo ko madisturbo dahil Mahalaga yung bawat sip ng aking kape. <laughs> Ayun. And if you ask me what my favorite coffee is, it's Vietnamese talaga. I've been, because I've been to Vietnam and was kinda, uh, I appreciate the coffee culture. The next one is Malaysia. For, for local kasi, may mga coffee beans or may mga ground coffee dito na naka-acid ako. Hindi ko alam. But sa acidity level ng dito sa local natin, parang namimili yung chan ko. Matindi yung acid ko dun. Stress din. <laughs> Ayun. So, ikaw, but but Hindi ka ba nakakape? Hindi ka po mahili? Kape. Coffee is nice. I really mean it. <laughs> Thank you for that question. The last question would be from Edward Jr. Pamplona. This guy would also support my songs and is active in liking my posts. I see you and I appreciate you. His question is, will you have an album released soon? Well, not necessarily an album. I've been active in releasing songs naman, but single, single lang, pa isa isa lang, kasi I could not a lot so much so much time for making music. Na kasi syempre kung album yan. Limang beats yan, anim na beats yan, pito, walo, isang album. So, it takes time talaga na pagawan mo yung beats, tapos gagawan mo rin ng lyrics, tapos ire-record mo siya. That whole thing would take up so much of my time. And I don't think I can do that given the resources also I have, the budget. <laughs> Kasi naglalabas ako, I'm independent and I would invest on my music talaga. So, if you see those music videos, if you see me releasing uh, beats, all of that are paid. Like, I don't have someone really to sponsor me unless meron ba ka naman may gusto mo sponsor dyan ng Angel Kids video. I would appreciate it. But ako, hindi naman talaga ako kasi dependent because I wanted something so bad. I wanted my music so bad. I wanted to to deliver like something quality naman. Kaya, I'm willing to invest. Because it's my craft, it's my passion, and why not, di ba? Spend on that if it makes you happy. So I'm not really into releasing releasing album, but singles, yeah. I will still make songs. I probably am gonna give you a short clip or a short demo of my upcoming new song. It's entitled Love Potion in collaboration with Nineteen. He's uh, my beat maker for that. It's not yet ready, it's not yet mixed, but it has been recorded Recorded now. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. And I'm so sorry if I talk too much. And I'm trying to like open up the kind of social butterfly that I am. Because really, I talk a lot. I, I have so much to share. And I'm not sure if that's me being a trainer also. Because 
I have to keep that confidence and enthusiasm alive <laughs> all the time. And that takes so much of my energy. But you know, when I'm into something, like into vlogging, into music, into training, into marketing, I would want to give everything that I have. Like best shot always because you never know. You never know when people would want to support you. To you never know how much viewers or audience you inspire. So hindi ko alam. Basta ako ginagawa ko lang yung gusto ko. Ayon. And you would see what my passion is, what I'm passionate about, and I'm I want to 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 give so much energy, also good energy to other people. And some people are also messaging me like, I really like, I really like the way you handle things. I really like your confidence or what. I, I wish I had the confidence like you have. You know, guys, minsan, wala naman talagang perfect. I mean, I really have my flaws. There's so many, nagkaroon ako ng mga bashers, nagkaroon ako ng mga pag-iinsulto na hindi nyo ma-imagine. At hindi nyo rin ma-imagine kung paano ko siya hinandle regards sa employment or di kaya show or performances or any services or any talent na inexpose ko sa public may kapalit yan na hindi rin maganda pero parang nagraduate na kasi ako dun eh alam mo kung ayaw mo sa akin okay lang naman wag ka na lang makini quiet ka na lang <laughs> Tapos ngayon, medyo nakakatakot na rin kasi iba na yung takbo. Alam mo yung it's either masira ka or mag-viral ka ng matino. <laughs> Hindi ba? O iba na ngayon eh. Kaya gusto ko na yun sana mag -key, but all my businesses are there. And you know, the moment I keep posting whatever and people are starting to follow me and look at the stuff that I have, they're starting to avail of it. Avail of the services or something that can be of help to them. Nakatulong din siya. Kaya I needed to to be active, especially online. Now that I am being serious about me being a digital entrepreneur, <laughs> a lifestyle entrepreneur. Ayun. So it's, it's less of my music right now. I'm really more into my business. I'm putting so much effort on that because I only want to deliver good value to my clients. If you're one of my clients, you avail of my service, you know how thankful I really am. And I would really take care of you as much as possible. I would really take care of my clients because you guys mean a lot to me. And especially now that the pandemic tapos, you avail of whatever services I have. <laughs> Thank you. Grabe talaga. Grabe talaga yun. Ako talaga genuine yung pasasalamat ko lagi. And I would give back. I would help as much people as I can. Because maliit lang ang mundo. And life is short. Ano ba yung let's have, let's spread good vibes na lang. Diba? Yun. I think this ends here. The Q&A portion. Thanks for hanging out at this part. I'm so sorry if I don't have that. So Don is back. The homegirl is in the house. Yes. Thank you sa mask. Ako ay magmamaganda. Mamayang gabi. Ayon. Ano gusto mo? Angel Kim and I'll see you on the next